getting nice and cold. Okay, this is uh, another beer cooler. I, for the beer cooler, I put this in last winter. Uh, install these coils. Ran the lines, they go outside. The temperature control. that it's just running warm. Here's the compressor condensing unit. Over here. I installed last winter. Last time I was here it was three degrees above zero. That's why I installed it. It was very cold back then. We'll have to see what's going on. Let's find our cyclists. There's the problem right there. Yeah, I just got a little crispy. What happens is this vibration, when this is running, it lets you see flowing through it, it'll warm up. When it shuts off, it'll cool off. It goes on, it warms up, it cools off. You end up um, you end up uh, loosening the screw up and then when that happens you end up with a poor electrical connection okay I gotta what I'll do is I'll take a picture of it for the store owner I'll show him the
okay. Ah, it's aluminum wire. Look at that. Can you see that? It's aluminum. Now I'm worried about it. Well, probably why it overheated. It's, every one of these companies tries to save money. Every one of these companies tries to save money and they end up causing more problems. Aluminum wires run hot usually. Take some of that carbon off the uh, contact point there. Change this whole thing. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get them going right now. So I'm gonna come back and I'm going to change the contact here because this. See how loose that is. It's not good. It's a 50 amp contactor too. That's a lot. That's a big contactor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put copper wire in here. It's really poor. This is copper wire up here. If the wires run into the compressor, they ran it out of aluminum. Well, let's get the amp probe. Starts up.
load amps is 27.6. That doesn't look good. Smoking. What's happening is it's electricity is trying to run through it. It's it's heating up. It's having resistance. Electricity having resistance running through it. It's probably the contacts inside of it. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to do this now. I only needed a tool pole contactor. It's 230 volts single phase. What I have I keep on my truck is a three pole contactor. In case I'm working on a three-phase unit, this covers both single phase and three phase. I'll only use two of the legs though on it. Okay. So what I want to do is oh it's hot. And this came apart. It's not so good. So let's see. Okay, here's the contactor. You have L1, L2, and L3, T1, T2, T3. And this is the contactor coil. And this is a 240, it's 208, 240 volts, 60 hertz. And it's this one here is good for 50 amps. So this was supposed to be good for 50 amps, but I don't think it was really. Everything's made in China these days. So let's start moving wires over. It's good to do one wire at a time. Never pull all the wires off and then put them back on again. You'll definitely get something crossed over. I'm putting the contact the coil on first. take one wire off at a time. So this is the other, this is the contact coil on the other one. And that goes on back here. Okay, what I did was I hooked up the, the coil, the contact coil. I'll move this over in a minute once I can get some of the wires transferred. That's too close or not.
Okay, let's see. Okay, now I transfer these two. This clip is loose, so what you do is you tighten it up a little bit by squeezing it down. It's going to give them all a little tug, make sure that they're in there snug. Okay, now I can get... If you have three screws, always put them in. We don't want this vibrating. And okay. Now this is L1 and L2. I'm hooking up L1 and L2 like that. I'll do it one at a time. I don't want to cross them up. I messed something up. trying to get them going by resplacing it and putting it in, but the contacts inside of here are too far gone. They're, um, the electricity's not flowing through them. There's like too much uh, discoloration. And what's happening is it's just overheating. It's not transferring electricity. Okay, these are new contact points, so they should be good. Now, okay, that one came off there. All right, let's see. Make sure we get this on the right side. Okay, this is the red wire. Probably the fan circuit. Okay, from here on in, I'm going to give us some new wires. Okay. So.
here. It's a nice new connection. I'm surprised that they use aluminum wiring. I've never seen aluminum wiring last. Okay. This is number 10 wire. This wire looks bigger, but it's actually the same amount of co well, this is aluminum and this is copper. So you have to have a big fat aluminum one. That's always good to give yourself a little extra. You never know in the future you might need it to um, re-splice it. You know, um, Another connection might come loose. And it's, it's good to twist these. So they're just not... When you clamp down on them with the screw, if, clamp, if, if they're straight, they'd be just spreading out like that, but once they're twisted, they, they'll hold up a post better. And this one is over here. 